So in this video, I am going to show you how to see how fast your website actually is. Now, I'm going through a series of how to see if your web host is good or not, essentially. And one of the first criteria, if you have a good web host, is how fast your web page loads. Now, it's very important how fast your website loads. If you go to Google and check out some of the criteria for search engine optimization and whether it's going to Google wants to show your website when someone's searching for a product or a service or you, um, whether it's gonna, Google's going to show your website, one of the biggest factors is the site speed, how fast the page actually loads. Now you want to have your site speed be under three seconds. Ideally you want it under one second. So a really good web host will be under a second. Um, a halfway decent enough to get by web host would be under three seconds. And anything above three seconds, it's going to be a pretty crummy web host or you've got some problems with how you put your website together. And so this series is all about um, uh, figuring out the best way to, to get your website loading as fast as possible. But the first step is to really see and evaluate the quality of your web host. Now, a lot of web hosts, what they do is they they overload websites, or actually the technical phrase is oversell, capacity on a particular server. So when you get a web hosting account, it's a server in a data center. And what a web host does is they'll want to put as many websites on one server in order to uh, maximize their profitability. And a lot of times this can be at your expense if they don't have any limits. So some of your web hosts like HostGator and Bluehost, if you notice the websites that are on those services, they're excruciatingly slow. And that's because they're notorious for overselling. Now, I uh, strongly have been recommending that you get an account with InMotion Hosting, which uh, everything's just so much better and you get a, your, your website will sit on a hard drive that's an SSD hard drive that is lightning fast. So uh, anyways, uh, the, the purpose of this video, though, is just to see how you can test the site speed of your WordPress-based website. So we've got three web-based tools available. There, uh, right here, we've got Pingdom, Page Speeds Insights, and that's from Google in GT Metrics. Now, the way these sites work is you go to it, you copy and paste your URL in, you hit the start or go or whatever the button says, and it's going to test it and you're going to see in real time. Now I will give you a caveat when you do this test, you could test it three times and the number is going to be a little different each time because there's so much variability in uh, the internet. So, uh, but they shouldn't be drastically different. They shouldn't be one second here and then you test it again and then it's 10 seconds. So uh, that's uh, one of the caveats. So you can find any of the link cities. I'll try to put them in the notes down below. If you're watching this on my website, that'll be down below as well. But I'm going to show you a test right now. Um, I prefer to use Pingdom. Um, uh, that's my, my favorite. You could also Google any of these and that will get you to the right link. So uh, right here is Pingdom. And what I like about it is its simplicity. You can just paste in your URL here. And one caveat with Pingdom is they have servers that they run this test from all around the world. So if I expand where it says settings, Here's the different locations that are available right now. So if your server and your website is in the United States, you don't want the test to originate from Amsterdam <laughs> so and vice versa or Sweden and vice versa. If your web server is in Europe, you don't want to run the test from San Jose, California. So that's just the one caveat. And the second one is if your website has the www in front or not, okay, you want to have it be exact. So let's just uh, go ahead and test my website, WP Crafter. I use the www, and if you've followed any of my advice, you would be using it as well. And let's uh, choose Dallas and then click on test now. And uh, sometimes when the service is overloaded, there might be a delay and it will say you're number one in line or number two in line or something like that. Uh, but it just might take a moment for the actual test to begin. 
I will say that uh, this test is uh, taking a little while longer. I queued up two other tests, so I'll come back to this. Um, so here is GT Metrics, and you can see I, I put the URL there. Uh, interesting, I don't use GT Metrics, I usually use Pingdom exclusively, uh, but their test server, uh, they didn't let me choose, is in Vancouver. And it will give you a page score like this. It'll give you a load time. Now, it's odd that it's showing my load time is that because I know it's actually one second, not three seconds, and we'll show on Pingdom. But there's going to be some variability between the different uh, services that do this. And when you scroll down, it gives you some uh, ideas on some things that you can improve. Um, and they're here. So here's a couple things. Um, I don't know how much I trust it. My images are already pre-optimized. Um, so anyways, uh, here's page speeds insights. This is a Google product. Now it's showing the web-based, it's, it's nice about this is it tests the, the mobile version and the desktop version. So this is the mobile version uh, and here is the desktop version. Um, and it, uh, this is actually more testing the different aspects of your website. It's not giving you a speed score, but it is giving you a score. But let's go back here. Uh, okay, so sometimes this does happen with Pingdom. Let me just try it again. Or let me just try a different server. Let's try New York. Or maybe there's just a problem with Pingdom. Let me just do a reload. WPCrafter.com. All right, so there we go. Okay. Oh, I forgot. See, I forgot to change the uh, area that the test originated from. You can see right here, tested from Sweden. So you can see even testing from Sweden, I'm loading at two seconds, which is actually pretty good considering it's on a different continent. Let me test out in New York. I'm going to click test now. And let's see what New York's given me. Okay, testing from New York, I'm under a second, and that's what I said you want to be. You want to be under a second. And it also lets you know how much gets downloaded when someone visits your site. You get your performance grade and the amount of requests. So all these kind of work together, but you really want to get that site speed down. Now, HostGator, Bluehost, a lot of times those websites will load in about 12 seconds. So you just imagine if you wanted to get to a website and it took 12 seconds to load, are you really going to stick around for 12 seconds? So anyways, if you want to check out InMotion, I got a link down below to that as well. I hope you found this uh, video useful and I challenge you to test your website speed and maybe post your host uh, and the speed in the comments down below. Yes, you made it to the end of the video, which must mean that it brought value to you. So can you go ahead and click on the thumbs up down below? That'll help me out. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to click on the subscribe button right down below me. Now, if you want to find me on the internet, I've got a special Facebook group that I set up for people just like you that want answers to their WordPress website. And that's where you can find me, interact with me, and ask me questions. So go ahead and click on the blue button down below to join that special Facebook group. Now, I never want you to leave empty-handed, so I've created a free video course for you called the three steps to WordPress success in this video course you're gonna really learn how to make your website shine get the results that you want and have it really stand out from the crowd so to access that free video course go ahead and click on the link over here on the right you can also find me at wpcrafter.com make sure you check out my 60 minute website challenges those are very popular and you can find those on the website as well hey thank you so much for watching this video i make these videos just for you and i hope you watch the next one